This time I'm going to review a Cartoon Network based video game and I'm sure you're all familiar with this particular game as well as myself. So tonight I'm going to take a look at Ed, Ed and Eddie The Miss Ed Ventures. Now I did review the movie Big Picture Show a while ago and I decided to do a review on the game itself for the first time. I got this game for Christmas back in 2005 when I was 21, and I was like, an Ed and Eddie game? No freaking way, they actually have their own video game, that is cool. Yeah, that is basically my little story. I haven't played it for almost 14 years, which you can tell it's been such a long time. So anyway, and as usual, without any further, let us begin. The game starts with the Eds collecting ice cubes to make snow cones, which is part of Eddie's scheme. Well, yeah, because the game has you play through episodes from the show. You know, Eddie comes up with schemes to make money and buy jawbreakers, that kind of thing. You can switch characters by using the R1 button. Yeah, I'm playing the PS2 version of the game. Each Ed has their own abilities. Ed can bash things with his head. He can lift and throw things. Double D has a ruler and can use a slingshot to shoot water balloons. He can also activate or deactivate various objects. And Eddie, well, he has a yo-yo and a stink bomb that is a reference to the El Longo stink bomb that was seen in an episode from the first season. They also have three formations. Ed can use the battering head to plow through walls, doors, fences, and other environments. The trampolette allows Double D to reach higher places. And last, the Tower of Ed has all three Eds form a tower to cross narrow walkways, which can be a pain in the ass, plus grabbing objects that are hard to reach. There are stuff you can collect, such as coins, Easter eggs found from chickens, yes, Ed loves chickens, and jawbreakers! Yup, boys, it looks like my lucky day. Also, there are six different parts of a certain costume you have to find in sandboxes by using Ed to dig them. Once you find them, you're able to unlock bonus levels. For enemies, you have animals. If you kill them, these glowing blue spheres will appear that will replenish your life meter. Man, talk about animal abuse. During the game, there are two objectives you have to accomplish. Like, for example, you have to put Rolf's pigs back in their pen, get all three of Sarah and Jimmy's dolls, etc. The game does feature references from the series with just a hint of humor. Well, in the Tower of Eddie, we could hide behind telephone poles. Oh yeah? My dad has a shovel. I love how the designers of the game re-imaged the backgrounds from the show itself, and the character design seemed to have a closer resemblance. Oh, and cutscenes. They look very nice because it feels like you're watching the cartoon series. As I've stated, you are playing the show and the levels feel like you're playing an episode. Speaking of which, there are a ton of episodes from the show I despise, such as one where Jimmy frames the Eds despite it was Eddie who gave him a wedgie. I mean, Jimmy could have just framed him instead of Ed and Double D, or better yet, framed both Eddie and Kevin. But that's just me. And you want to know what's shocking is that this shit piece is Danny Ananucci's favorite episode. What? Oh my god, he is such a sick, twisted mother freaker. Though the good thing is that the movie was the episode in reverse. Bet you didn't know that. Another I despise is the cursed telephone where Double D was being out of character. Why not have Kevin, Sarah, and Jimmy be the ones being cursed rather than Eddie? The only positive from that episode was Ed's performance. I know where you're going with this, Eddie! Nighty night! Eddie's in pain now! He'll have to call you back! Which is the only good thing to come out of. Yeah, there is a Double D torture porn where he wanted to take a shower. Instead, he spent throughout the entire episode being filthy. The one thing I have to say is... Blame the writers! They should be ashamed of themselves! The music and sound is really good, even the soundtrack was done by the same composer. <laughs> well, if it isn't dork, dork, and dork. Well, well, if it isn't that green shirt, red hat wearing, shovel chin douchebag named... Douchebag. If you've seen my review on the film, you should know that I dislike Kevin. Not only him, but also Jimmy and Sarah. Don't like those two either. Fun fact, the voice of Rolf is done by Peter Kelimus, who did the voice of Goku from the Ocean Group version of Dragon Ball Z. That's pretty interesting. Ah, it boys! Cast aside like old bathwater that has not been used for broth. Pale Jimmy refuses the Ninka Poops from entering his celebration. Hello! Oh, 
Now I know what you're thinking. What about bonus levels? Ah yes, those. There are a few, one being Edzilla, where I play as the monster destroying buildings and battling the Kankinator that looks like King Ghidorah. That was the happy moment in my life. <laughs> no, I never did any of the bonus games, mining you. You even got bonus content such as behind the making of the game, including the voice cast like Matt Hill, Samuel Vincent, and Tony Sampson. I just realized that there is a connection with this cast, because they were known for voicing anime by Ocean Group, known for Ron Mahaff, again Dragon Ball Z, the Darkstalkers OVA, Monster Rancher, plus the 1994 Mega Man Ruby Spears animated series. And I've heard that Aaron Fitzgerald is doing voices for the redubbed 90s Sailor Moon anime. I could be correct or incorrect. Ed, Ed, and Eddie the Misadventures does have its flaws, it does have glitches, but it is a very fun game. Like I've said, it's been a very long time since I've played Misadventures, and I'm very happy that I got my hands on it. Why? Because it's based on my favorite show, and the one who requested me to review it was Nazish Arshad, and I want to say thank you for the request. And with that, this ends another installment of Video Game Reviews. Till next time, in the words of T-Bone2004, this is Lord Viaco saying, I thank you for your time, and have a pleasant day.